This video is sponsored by Epidemic Sound. For all your music and sound needs, please visit Epidemic Sound if you need ocean waves, a face slap or punch, <laughs> thunder, keyboard clicking, Some 90s rock and roll for your first month's free please visit epidemic sound link in my description let's get into the video okay so what is the goddamn deal youtube it is of course your boy Valandis back with another video and in this video it's going to be a little bit different it's going to go a little bit differently from how we normally do photography videos on this channel for this video we're going to be kind of narrating what um, kind of happened over um, a day of me going out to Atlanta for a couple hours and shooting a lookbook for this brand called Unwanted and we shot the lookbook with Little Nar. So first of all, the reason we couldn't necessarily, you know, vlog this experience or like have this video be um, how they usually are where I would be talking and there would just be like, you know, video of me shooting and all that other stuff. But for one, the music there was very loud and to, you know, kind of make people comfortable and have things be less awkward between a bunch of people who don't know each other because this was my first time going out there and meeting Chase and Jordan and being in this uh, area in this um, environment where nobody really kind of knows each other personally kind of I mean I've talked to Jordan and um, talked to Jordan over the phone a couple times and stuff like that but you know we never met in person also we're in a space where the work is there we don't know each other anyway to make things less awkward and kind of more comfortable there's a lot of music being played very loud so it's kind of almost impossible to um, you know talk or like direct or you know for anybody to hear me say or do anything and another thing that kind of makes this a little bit different is because since the music was so loud and since the music was you know all very much copyrighted music um couldn't necessarily have that in the video so that's you know, two reasons to why i'm kind of narrating this video so a couple hours in atlanta once we got there me and amal woke up one morning and just you know went to the airport parked our car at the airport and then you know flew to atlanta once we got to atlanta first of all the jacks uh, i don't know what it's called but the atlanta airport is extremely big it's one of the, like i think i don't know i asked if it was um the biggest i guess i could have just did a quick google search and seen like what's the actual biggest airport in america but I'm pretty sure the Atlanta airport is up there. If it has to be in like at least the top three, top five biggest airports, because that airport is huge, it has a train in it, and you go through like a subway to get to like terminals and shit like that. So it is a very big airport and just something that I was very like taken back by. But anyway, that's besides the point. Jordan and Chase picked us up from the airport and we went straight to the studio. The studio is called Cam Kirk studios for anybody who doesn't know what cam kirk studios is um I'm, i believe cam kirk is a photographer himself and he has a studio photography studio across the street from magic city and you don't have to be a photographer to know what magic city is but the studio is right across the street from magic city magic city is i mean that the area is very weird like is i'm i'm okay with it because of where i come from and stuff like that but i can i can understand if somebody was just like i mean it's a lot going on to be completely honest there's a, there's a lot going on over there but i do like the vibe i love the area and i love just the studio and yeah but anyway cam kirk is also a photographer he has a studio across the street from magic city very good studio we got there um right after we got picked up from the airport we went straight there we ran out a section of the studio from two to five we got there chilled out for a little bit talked to a few of people who worked there we were supposed to be shooting in an area where there wasn't that much natural light so i would have been using like flashes and i guess continuous light or whatever kind of light i wanted to use the very good thing about this studio is that they have a lot of backdrops they have a lot of props they have a lot of lighting um, situations that you can choose from. And yeah, pretty much whatever you want to do in this studio, whatever you have 
it can come to life like what kind of vision you have it can come to life in this studio a lot of famous people have shot in this studio there's pictures of Lil Yachty um Brent Fiaz a lot of people two chains I can't remember everybody off my head Lil Baby Gunna a lot of Atlanta artists have shot in this studio and it's it's that's kind of dope like that's super dope to me that you know what I'm saying what this studio is and like who it's for and um what is what is doing so very you know what I'm saying grateful and you know what I'm saying? Honored to have shot in this studio and to say that I have went to this studio and did some work in this studio. So that's very, you know what I'm saying? That was good for me and I liked it quite a bit. But anyway, someone asked if I wanted to use natural light and I was like, is there a natural light option? Because if you know, I shoot most of my photos using natural light. I'm not very into using artificial lighting or any external lighting for the photos that I take, even in the studio. We're actually gonna do a video on you know using natural light and how i go about using natural light in indoor situations but didn't have too much setting up to do because the lighting was already there there's this beautiful light coming in from the right side so we didn't need any light at all so just had to wait i just set up um my cameras i was using the gfx 50r for these photos i did take some film photos but I only shot one roll and they weren't necessarily for the lookbook they were just like because I like shooting film. So I shot one roll of film and all of the photos that I took for the lookbook was actually shot on the GFX 50R with the 63 millimeter lens. And um, they came out amazing. This camera is perfect for things like that. Like if I ever have to shoot a lookbook again, like this is the camera that I'm using. This camera is just like so much quality, high quality images. Um, it, it is not, it's, faster than my film camera, but slower than like a full size sensor DSLR. This is a medium format camera, so it's a little bit slower, but not as slow as like a medium format film camera. Definitely a good person to take pictures of, needs very little direction and being told what to do. And definitely can just like, you know what I'm saying? He gets the vibe of what you're going for without you having to tell him. And working with people like that, for anybody who has worked with people who are not necessarily models but know how to take pictures you can appreciate this because you don't necessarily need to tell people how to pose they know how they want to be photographed they know what, what looks good and they you know what i'm saying have a sense of creativity he's a rapper so um he could just you know what i'm saying go by based off how he looks he has cool hair tattoos grills chains and rings and all that but he actually knows how to pose what to show off and when to show it off and just you know what i'm saying wears clothes and shows off clothes in a manner that's you know what i'm saying makes it look good and makes people want to you know what i'm saying I, i'm saying all this to say that i had to tell him nothing at all really what to do a few times i might be like hey hey stand this way look over this way but for the most part he did his own thing and i just took pictures and it works out like that sometimes you don't always necessarily need um to tell people what to do because they already know what to do and um a good one thing that i noticed about now nah, like i said i didn't take too many film pictures but when i was taking film pictures he like he would move around like when i was taking digital pictures he moved around like he you know what I'm saying? Like every single time I took a picture, he would move around. Didn't necessarily wait till I took the next picture. Like it would be a few times where I'd be like, hey, do that again or whatever, because I didn't get it fast enough. But when I was taking film pictures, like he didn't move until the picture was taken. And I don't know if Nar knows about film photography or what it is, but like I didn't even have to tell him like be still until after I take this picture or like don't move. Like when I picked up the film camera, he was automatically like, like he stood there waited till I took the picture then he moved but when I had the digital camera he moved around quite a bit and I don't know bro but shouts out to Nar he made, did an amazing job these photos look amazing comfortable person to talk to and take pictures of so I do appreciate that because I have worked with rappers and I have worked with other people and shot lookbooks with other people and just shot photos in general of other people and rappers and I will say that they were not that easy to take pictures of um, so yeah, shout out to Nar and you know what I'm saying? Very good. Went very good. But anyway, we got done with that pretty quick. It only took like an hour, an hour and a half to take these photos. And then we left, went to Waffle House, chopped it up with, um, 
chasing Jordan a little bit more. And then they dropped us off at the airport and we was on our way back to Detroit. But yeah, man, other than that, I do like these photos. I, you know what I'm saying? I want to thank Jordan and Chase again and the unwanted team for trusting me with these photos and their lookbook. I do want to start shooting more lookbooks, at least showing more lookbooks that I shoot because I've shot lookbooks before, but I never necessarily show people that type of stuff because um, it feels more like work to me. But for this lookbook, I do um like jordan and chase like a lot they're very nice genuine people and i do wish nothing but the best for them and i can't wait to see them like you know be super successful because their brand is fucking dope honestly this this uh sweater that i'm wearing hoodie that i'm wearing right now is from their brand but i, I wasn't even aware that i was making this video and wearing their hoodie but anyway um yeah i do I can't wait to see what they do with the brand because it's very good and they're very good people who deserve it. So anyway, that's going to wrap up this video. I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you didn't, I do not care. Like we always say, if you are not subscribed to the channel, please do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. If you already are subscribed, I am not talking to you because you did what you had to do already. Um, we're going to get out of here. We're going to you know, go set some things up. Christmas is coming up. So I got some Christmas shopping to do for some people. You know, Santa might be bringing, you know, niggas cold this year or nothing because, you know, quarantine. But, you know, <laughs> Santa, I'm going to start. T I'm going to tell niggas Santa got COVID, so he ain't come this year. But anyway, um, with all that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, yeah, let's go do some shit.